Hi, my name is William Gauthier. I'm the producer of Athletic Withdrawal. Producing is a tricky thing. You know, it's a, it's a fine line between um, trying to overstep and not overstep, uh, as many positions are, but this one is more tricky because the producer is sort of helming the project from, a, from its aspect as, a, as an industry, industrial aspect of it, the human resources aspect, the money aspect, but creatively it's not yours. It belongs to a director you're serving. So it's a very thin line between leading the project and letting the director do its thing. Uh, I was first approached uh, for athletic withdrawal when I read the script. Uh, Matt gave me the script to read and uh, it was beautifully structured. Uh, but not only that, that was the first thing I noticed, but more deeply, I love how it related to him personally. How it spoke about something that is quite taboo, but it's specifically about athletes. But I think we can all relate to losing a part of ourselves due to an event that happened to our life. Uh, when we have to say goodbye to someone, or in this case, something. Um, we all had to go through that, and I think it was a really compelling story covering that topic. Well, that's easy. The biggest obstacle was definitely locations. Uh, it, you see, it's not that we didn't find them, it's that uh, we would lose them quite, quite a lot. Uh, especially Matt would be so excited to tell me, uh, hey, I got this location uh, for the movie, only to tell me 48 hours later that we had lost it before I could produce any sort of paperwork location scout or whatever, but um, you know, I'm happy to report we finally found the location, it's perfect, but uh, for a long time, a long time, it's been the biggest issue for some reasons, finding a location. There's always gonna be something in your way when you do production, but uh, for this movie specifically, it's been locations. A good producer is um, someone to whom you can turn. You know, uh, the producer, I think, must always adapt to who he's working with. You know, if you have a producer that can adapt to many environments, different formats, uh, that can diversify, it's always very important in a, in a producer because you won't get any work as a producer, or not often, their phone will stop ringing if you don't adapt to different situations. My style as a producer is, uh, it would be quite obvious to say organized because uh, if you're not organized, you're simply not a good producer, period. But my personal style is very much to keep in touch with everybody at all times. It's not so much micromanaging, because uh, that's, uh, you know, too much is like not enough. You know, if you try to do too much stuff, you're gonna anger your crew, break the trust. It's not something you want. But uh, definitely be in touch with everybody. Uh, make sure you're aware of everything that's going on. Make sure that you're always you know, in touch with your team, but also individually with every member, at least every key member of your production to always know what's going on because, I mean, your name's going on it and, uh, you know, you, what deserves to be done deserves to be well done.